Okay, happy Tuesday morning to you all. It is uh, August 1st. We're already over seven months through this year. Goodness, it's going to be Christmas time and fall before we know it. Before I know it, anyway. <laughs> I can't keep track of the, the weeks, the days, barely the months. Uh, yeah, continuing my Houston dehydration diet. Might be able to resolve that situation by the end of this week or beginning of next week been working like a madman seven days a week i haven't had a day off yet in ew, i don't know what five weeks almost yeah five weeks so i've been uh billing and uh collecting on a lot of the work i'm doing so cash flow is positive that's a good thing positively a good thing taken off of the cannonball it's always such a, a big impact on my work schedule and obviously the finances uh, and it's not that the cannonball is very expensive to do it you know if you moto camp a lot of the event like I do then it's pretty reasonable I mean, it's not a not a bad way to spend a three or four week vacation uh, I think I spent Back in 21, I spent less than $2,000, and a lot of that was still hotel and food and extraneous stuff. Uh, and then uh, this year was probably about the same. We had a couple of hotels this time that we paid. And I don't know. It's just not all that expensive. Anyway, but the big expense is uh, not working. You know, I'm self-employed, so when I'm not working, I ain't making money. being down for uh, three weeks is part of it but the other side of it is the uh, you know all the lead up to the event and you know prep time and everything I'm not productive you know for probably a week to two weeks even before my departure so there's that downtime and then when you come back it's the spooling up and getting your your routine and your work uh, flowing again so a three-week event turns into more like a six-week event. It's hard to not work for a month, you know? So, I'm still on track uh, for this weekend, I hope, to do a quasi-night, uh, quasi-Saturday night live. Uh, I don't know, it might even be a quasi-Saturday day live. I don't know. It's, uh, I'll float the idea to everybody, put a poll out uh, toward the end of the week, probably Thursday. Uh, to see what everybody thinks for uh, timing on Saturday. I know I have people tune in from different time zones all over the place, and uh, whenever I do it at 7 or 8 o'clock Central Time U.S., uh, that's really late for other uh, parts of the world that might be watching. So, I don't know. Float it. See what everybody thinks. Uh, I'm hoping to have another episode of the Cannonball Run ready. Uh, at least the, you know, the lead-up ride uh, getting out to California. Uh, I've got uh, one more episode almost fully assembled and ready to go. I just have to put the finishing touches on it, add a little bit of music here and there, splash of graphics and fancy stuff, uh, and uh, make it presentable, digestible. So I might do a premiere of that video uh, so we can all sit around and chat while that's playing for you know 30 minutes or whatever the length of the, the video is, and then uh, segue right into uh, Saturday Night Live. We'll see. I've been trying to go through my uh, editing queue, the vlogs. God, I cannot have the helmet shut, it's too hot. Um, going through the vlogs and do a vlog dump. But, I don't know, I just... <clears throat> I, I don't like putting out vlogs just for the sake of vlogs. I'd rather have something to talk about that's going to be interesting or engaging to people. And, uh, the last couple that I've put out are decidedly on kind of a, a low note, you know problems that have been going on in my world and circles and uh, other losses to the community so I, I don't know I, I just I think I've abandoned a handful of those vlogs that I did for about a week or so I didn't feel there was any value add there and any reason to waste anybody's time so didn't publish them just gonna flush them or leave them on the back burner maybe I've got stuff in there that I'm talking about that I can chop together for uh, another 
compilation vlog at some point in the future. Anyway, so just trying to get caught up with current events and uh, get back to a positive mood and vibe uh, and hopefully uh, start making some progress chipping away at that giant iceberg of uh, Cannonball Run videos. <laughs> it's going to be a long one. It's looking a little cloudy this morning. I saw the forecast. It's a 20% chance of rain today, which is interesting because you know, this is the Gulf Coast, so the forecast changes pretty much on an hourly basis. But uh, the uh, forecast yesterday said uh, zero chance of rain for you know the next several days. But apparently uh, now we've got uh, some moisture that has moved in, and uh, it might dump a little bit of water on us. We need it. I don't really need it on the bike. That would kind of put a damper on my day. But uh, we definitely need the rain here in Houston. It's getting pretty dry. All right, people, I'm running out of room. Break it up. Cool looking sunrise there. Well, not sunrise, but sun rays, let's say. Sun rays, that's cool. Can't look at it. I'll put the camera up there to look at it. I'm gonna look ahead because these people are slowing down in front of me. I'll be doing my usual commute routine today, probably, or my my new usual, uh, where I go to the warehouse and one of my workmates uh, shuttles me around. We're doing a lot of collaborative jobs right now, so it works out. I'm not just a a burden or dead weight on him. I hope, giving some kind of a value add to the proposition. So he's picking me up and running around in the uh, truck all day, and then you know, quitting time three or four o'clock in the afternoon, whatever. Uh, he drops me back off the warehouse and I head home in the peak heat of the day. Ugh. That's another reason why I kind of, I've decided to flush a bunch of my vlogs. Uh, in the early parts of the day, I might have been talking coherently and had a, a couple of thoughts to rub together in my head, but on the return commutes home in the afternoon, it's so friggin' hot, my brain is barely functioning, and I find myself stuttering and not speaking uh, as coherently as I normally do, and it bugs me in the editing. I <laughs> listen to it and I go, geez, what's wrong with my brain? Well, it's overcooked, that's what. The camera keeps shutting down in the afternoons, too. It's so hot, you know. <laughs> The heat is just unbearable for any kind of brain, whether it's uh, silicon or biological. It just does not want to run in this heat. So out of my pending bike projects, what would you guys like to see next uh, for me to dig into? The Navi, the uh, Silverwing, the little Yamaha C3 scooter, or... Uh, my classic bikes, the, the 1970 Honda and uh, 1978 uh, Honda. Which one of those would be more interesting to you guys? Let me know in the comments below. Thinking about which one I want to dig into next. Uh, they're going to be longer term projects, uh, any of them, you know, they, it'll take a few days or several sessions, let's say, of uh, wrenching and remediation to get them back in shape, but uh, it, I'll make a video series on them. Maybe some live wrenching sessions too, that'd be fun. I'll get to all of them eventually, I just can't decide what order I want to queue them up. The Navi is probably going to be the easiest one to get out quicker, faster, you know, just get it done. I only have a couple of little minor electrical bits to do to it before I... Uh, can button up the plastics on it. Oh yeah, I forgot the uh, the PCX150 remediation. That's got to be done as well. Got to tear that down and work on it. So maybe that one does get elevated to the top of the queue just so I can have that for the Cannonball series. We'll see. And I need to get some parts back to uh, Dean. Uh, Dean, I'm going to butcher your name again. Uh, Pontgeris, Pontgeris, something like that. I, I can't say your name properly. I apologize. Uh, he was the 
very kind soul that sent me his OEM variator and uh, torque drive assembly uh, when I was marooned in uh, central U.S. days four and five when my uh, PCX ate its parts. So anyway, he sent that stuff to me at the hotel, and uh, I told him that I would send them back to him. Uh, he, he doesn't care. He just wants the original parts back to put on his shelf. Well, the cloud cover is keeping heat down this morning, but man, the humidity is thick. You can drink this air. Well, it looks like I beat my buddies here to breakfast, uh, but then again, they might not be coming here. We'll find out. I'll park over here and see if they make it. Ugh. Oh, man. Quasi got snubbed. <laughs> oh, I guess I wasn't on the uh, text group this morning somehow. Uh, my buddy stopped and ate breakfast at a different place this morning, and uh, they're already on the road. They wondered what happened to me. Well, I didn't get the memo. <laughs> That's all right. I'll go over uh, in my neighborhood. Uh, well, my work neighborhood anyway. Uh, over there a couple miles, there's a... Uh, taco place that I've gone a couple times. I haven't really taken you guys along for the ride, so you know, this morning you can join me if you like. Uh, Seven Taco, right on the corner uh, of Long Point and uh, Campbell. And uh, you got a pretty good spread of tacos there. Uh, not much for an indoor eating venue. They've got a few tables inside. Uh, they got a little area to sit outside, and the weather is nice this morning, so that's what uh, made me think about it. I'll just sit outside and have a couple of breakfast tacos and some coffee. Prices are pretty good there, pretty reasonable. Here's Seven Taco. I'll go in around the long way now. I'll just go this way. Park right over here and... Uh, grab some food. Hey, man, there's sign. I hope there's still seven taco. I think there are. The sign on the top has gone. I wonder what that's about. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, uh, y'all can join me out here for uh, some tacos on the patio. Yeah, still says seven taco. wonder what happened to their, uh, their sign up top. I guess it just weathered out and died. Uh, where shall I sit? I want to sit outside. It's kind of nice. I think this is going to be it right here. All right. Breakfast is done. Been here for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Started to get steamy, but still tolerable temperature outside. And uh, the burrito was very good. I had the egg and avocado burrito. That was tasty. I like that. Added some chorizo sausage to it, and it was a meal. I'm not even going to bother putting these on. I'm just going around the corner. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> my warehouse is right there. On the other side of the big crane. And uh, my buddy is waiting on me. He just... Uh, Texted me, said he pulled up to my warehouse, and where was I? <laughs> I'm eating breakfast, man. You guys left me in the cold. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, which way? Go this way. Green light for me. I don't know what they're building here. It's got to be a big apartment complex of some flavor, but man, they are digging and working on it. Okie dokie. Well, belly is full. I'm all coffeeed up, and uh, it is time to head out for the day. Uh, okay, welcome back to the day in progress. Uh, it's... A thousand point one degrees out here, and uh, whoo, man, I don't want to touch anything. Ah, yay! I took my shirt off and uh, put it over the seat to reduce the temperature of that from uh, searing to just scalding. <laughs> Holy crap, it's hot out here, man! Oh, 
I'm going to have to move some stuff around in that garage uh, to be able to put this thing indoors uh, through the day. Because by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, or 3.45, whatever it is, uh, the sun beating down on the front face of this building facing west is just insane. You step outside and feel like your eyeballs are going to dry out instantly. It's hot. It's so hot that, like my my grips, look at this, that I don't know if you can see it, it. They're disintegrating in the heat. They're all sticky and slimy. Yeah, it's hot out here. Oh yeah, that's hot, that hurts. I, oh, that hurts. I, oh, uh, it's time to ADV it so I don't break my balls. Yikes. Woohoo, it's hot. What's up? What is today? Tuesday, that's right, Tuesday. Keep losing track of what day it is. Tonight's the uh, Texas uh, Mega Millions drawing for 1.05 billion with a B. B, B, billion. Yikes, that's a lot of money, man. That's Powerball kind of money. That's, uh, I think it might be the highest the uh, Texas lotto uh, thing has ever gotten up to. I'm not sure. I'll throw my 20 bucks in the pot. Oh, it is definitely rush hour already. And I need to get over. How's it going to work? Can't get in there because that guy's coming across and so are the other guys. I'll let you in. Are you guys going to go? All right. If you're not going to go, I'm going to because I'm going to get run over from behind. You're going, you're going, you're going. Do it, Caddy. Do it, Caddy. If you're doing it, do it. Oh, ho, ho. blowtorch. Woo, it's hot. It's so weird because at lower speeds, it feels brutally hot, and then you get moving just a little bit, and it feels cooler. But then, at higher speeds, you know, 70 miles an hour, whatever, it feels hotter again. I don't understand. Oh. So I think I talked this morning about uh, getting some of the vlogs out. Uh, I put out the the recent one about Dean passing away and. Uh, I think all the others I just kind of trashed because my head wasn't in the right space. Everyone's been very uh, supportive of that uh, video so far today. I think I just released it last night about midnight. Um, yeah, it's a tough subject. I don't want to go into it again here, but uh, everyone has been uh, pretty, pretty good with their feedback and... Uh, I, I didn't want any part of that video to be about me and a lot of people are you know giving me condolences and everything and I do sincerely appreciate that uh, I, I didn't know Dean well we were not close friends I wish we had been uh, but it's still just the the sudden loss of someone that you had conversed with a lot and just recently met and shared life experiences with and then suddenly they're gone it's just it's quite a shock I was very taken aback uh, when I found out about it a week ago, Sunday. Uh, so yeah, thanks for all the well wishes, everyone. I, I'm doing okay. I, I'd love to keep the, the conversation open on that, but I'm doing okay. So I'll probably edit and post the last couple of vlogs uh, yesterday, today, and uh, get back up to current events. Uh, hopefully I'll have a quasi Saturday Night Live or maybe a Saturday Day Live uh, this coming weekend. We'll see. Uh, I'd like to do a, a chat and a round table, get everybody together and hang out again. That's a lot of fun. Try to do a giveaway. Uh, and I definitely need to get everybody's t-shirts out to them. So uh, I talked about that in a couple of vlogs and I don't know if those ever made it out or not, but yeah. Or if the vlogs made it. I know the t-shirts haven't. They're still sitting on my dining room table. So I'll uh, do my best to get those out tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Uh, I'll reach out to everyone through email tonight, make sure I've got shipping addresses for everyone, and uh, I'll 
run over to the uh, post office and send it out to uh, priority mail, flat rate box, you know, something that should get there in a reasonable amount of time. These grips feel gross, man. My, my hands keep sticking to them. Yeah, I'll replace them. I've got another set or two of these uh, Pro Grip 711, 714s, whatever they are, uh, sitting in my garage in project boxes. But hopefully they're not <laughs> deteriorating the same way these are. They're not out in the sun, obviously, so these are going to deteriorate faster. But they last a couple years, and after that, they just fall apart. They're good and comfortable while they last, though. Oh yeah, nice timing. A tree to wait under. Thank you, tree. Thank you. Ugh, man, I wish I could change the channel on this weather. Click, 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 fall. Click, 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 winter. <laughs> okay. Home again, home again. Hot, sweaty commute number 7005 done. Ugh. I'm gonna go inside. Strip these clothes off, put on some shorts, some flip flops, and a wife beater tank top, <laughs> and drink a beer. Living that stereotype, right? <laughs> ay, 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 it's hot. All right, everybody, thanks for uh, tagging along. Uh, hopefully, y'all get uh, caught up on the video stuff and start posting some more fun stuff and no more sad news. We'll see what life has in store for us, eh? Catch you later.